Hey everybody, today is day eight of the Hammer and Chisel 60 day program. And I, it's like the middle of the day already and I haven't even started vlogging today. We went to a birthday party earlier, tried to stay on track. Um, I ate a piece of pizza. So I'm gonna log it. And actually on the 21 day fix meal plan, which comes with hammer and chisel, you can have pizza. It just counts as a certain number of containers. And um, so I had one piece, it was totally fine. Um, then I had some cheese on the side and that's a blue container. So that's what I've eaten today. Um, going to go upstairs, get my workout in and then have my Shakeology after. So I'm gonna show you um, what the workout looks like today. I just finished my day eight of hammer and chisel workout. It was chisel cardio, so it was with Autumn. And I was dreading this because cardio is not my strong suit. And my heart rate getting up, it just oh, it makes me nuts. But it was all, a lot of it was with weights. And um, it was not terrible. It was one of the hardest workouts, definitely, in the hammer and chisel, but everything had a modifier, and this is my first time, my first week of the program, and I am not ashamed to do the modifier sometimes. So it's all about building up and each day getting stronger, so definitely not beating myself up about having to do the modifier, and um, I'm really glad that workout is over. And now we're gonna go do some meal prep and meal planning for the week ahead. pantry where I do all my best meal planning just kidding um, this is why I'm in here I'm gonna show you my meal planning board for the week and it's Sunday and I usually try to plan out everything that I'm gonna eat for lunches and dinners breakfast is usually the same um, this week and I'm actually gonna go all the way through Sunday something that I just started doing that really helps me stay on track on the weekends is not think of the weekends any differently than the weekdays so since I'm a second grade teacher, I have to pack my lunch um, every day and take it to school. So preparing those lunches ahead of time helps a lot in the mornings um, and in the night before. I don't have to think about it. They're already ready to go in the fridge and I just take them out, put them in my lunchbox. So um, I'm going to show you what my board that sits in the pantry looks like for this week. So this is the board. It's just on the wall in the pantry and it has each day of the week and Monday we're going to do a leftovers from last week which is a pork with apples and honey um it's already portioned in a lunch container and it has vegetable butternut squash already with it that i roasted up last weekend and then tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday i'm doing chicken and it's a frozen chicken breast that you can buy in a big bag um, they're not organic but that's just what i'm doing this week and vegetables i'm gonna roast some broccoli and some carrots this um, today and portion those in containers for the rest of the week. So I'm gonna change up the marinades on the chicken. Sometimes I'll do a hot and spicy. Sometimes I'll do like an Italian type marinade just to keep it interesting for the week. Uh, for dinners, we're gonna do a cheeseburger salad and I'll post the recipe to that. Actually, I think I might, nope, I don't think I have. I'll post the recipe to that um, on my blog. Jenna's finally losing it. It's a WordPress blog and then um, steak, steak, and then Saturday and Sunday, um, I did leave those open. I would love to do steak then, or maybe the cheeseburger salad will last longer. So usually I try to plan out the whole week, but 
this is what this looks like for this week coming up. And I know that Saturday night I will have plans, so it's good to leave that open and I won't be eating at home. So that's what this week looks like, and this is my meal planning board. Thanks for watching today. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos from Jenna is Losing It.